Well, I've come to a busy city, Manchester. It's not my usual stamping ground, but I'm uh, lucky enough today to be here because one of our teams has been nominated for a national award for their patient safety work. When I'm in amongst all of this kind of frenetic place, I'm reminded of something that someone once said to me years ago about the nature of priesthood. That it's to stand in the middle of chaos and hold on to something of the divine. And a few times recently people have asked me how my faith aligns with my clinical and leadership work. I think the values bit is fairly obvious. But there's often a lot more in the wisdom of our faith tradition that warrants exploration. There's a particular model of psychoanalysis that I really like, where we ask people to think about things in the context of the drama triangle, where we have victims, villains, and heroes. So today I'm asking myself, was Jesus a hero? This is one of those uh, really simple to understand models that once you've got your head around it, you can apply it in pretty much any situation, be that in the family, in a meeting, or perhaps associated with some long-term trauma. So first of all, there's the victim. Someone who has been unfairly blamed, or is actually at fault, or suffering some misfortune or other. Then, there's the villain the person who's behaving in a manner that causes the victim to feel responsible and to blame. And finally, of course, there's the hero, the person who offers to step in, they turn up, and they say they can fix everything. Now, you might be thinking that we should all aspire to be the hero, but you'd be wrong. The main consequence of their being the hero is that the victim has all of their inadequacy reinforced to them. They are weak and need rescuing. And the hero will also do a fairly good job of identifying the villain to everyone else. The other fascinating thing about the drama triangle is it isn't static. People can move in and out of different roles at different times. The hero can quickly become the victim when they fail to achieve what they promised, or the villain when they end up exposing everyone else's incompetence. So the real trick is to be none of the above, for everyone to break out of the drama triangle and to deal with a problem fairly and objectively. So is Jesus a hero? I think not. There are certainly multiple stories from the Gospels where Jesus steps in and fixes things. And yet I think these narratives fall into one of two groups. Firstly, those which are solely based on the writer's description i.e. and Jesus turned up and healed everyone. And secondly, there's the ones where Jesus provides a comment or an explanation of what's happening. And it's in the second set that we find something really interesting. Think back to some of those stories. What do we hear Jesus saying? It's usually something to the effect of your faith has made you whole. Jesus doesn't take the credit himself but assigns responsibility for success to the person who needed help. So Jesus is definitely not stepping into the drama triangle. The whole New Testament can be interpreted with the various protagonists in one of the three roles, victims, villains and heroes. But with his calmness, wisdom and compassion, Jesus manages to exist on a different plane well away from the emotional theatre the rest of us find ourselves in from time to time. It reminds me of one of the great quotes about true leadership. You'll know when you find it because the people will say, we did this ourselves. So at times of great change, turmoil and general business, there is an enormous comfort in the model that Jesus offers us. His divinely inspired wisdom might be just what we need to deal with what lies ahead.